Let me whiz you through what's new in Axiom 4.2. First up in our new release are our one-click install templates. They're simple, easy to use. Let me show you one. So all you need to do is add your template. In this case, DM Instagram users. Click Start Setup and let Axiom create the Google Sheet for you then the automation will be fully configured and ready to use. Next up, run Axiom with a proxy. Yes, that's right, you heard it. You can now run any of your automations using the proxy. Simply open and edit the automation in the builder. Click on the settings menu top right on the cog. Then under run options, use a proxy. Here you can input your protocol, you can add your IP address, enter the port number, then you can run your automation using a proxy. Now, quickly before the next feature, we are thinking of adding an, the ability to rotate your proxies. So if you're interested in that feature, do reach out to us. Okay, next in Axiom, we have the report date and sorry, reformat date and time. This is the ability. So for example, if you're putting in a date, date or a time from a Google Sheet and you need to reformat that to input that into a web form, you can now use our date and time step. You can set it, click on the reformat existing option, pass in a data source, and you can select the format you want to transform into. A really handy little feature there. Moving on from that, we have a new if else step. So this step basically executes one set of steps if the condition is true, and another set of steps if the condition is false. It's pretty easy to set up. You can see it on screen here. And then below the else, you can set the steps you want to execute if the um, condition passes false. You'll also notice all our conditional steps moving on quickly. Now have the ability to um, compare numbers when making your condition. So let me just open up Axiom again. You'll see that we've all, or you probably have found we've always had the ability to compare words or data from a source, but not numbers. Now we can compare numbers. We can check whether they're greater than or less than or just equal to a pretty handy new feature. Collapsing Axiom quickly, let's move on to the changes we've made to our scheduling. We've made it a little bit more flexible. If I open up the schedule quickly in settings, you will see that you can now have more granular control on setting the frequency. So you can select months, weeks, days, hours, and you can set, for, so for example, frequency, you would want once a week, you can now set to three times a week. So that's a lot more granular control on your scheduling. Okay, let's collapse Axiom and see what is next in this new release. We have another brand new step, that's two new steps this release. And that is the ability to get the contents of your clipboard. There's no configuration for that step. You can add it and find it in the step finder by entering get clipboard contents. And that will just pass the contents of your clipboard into Axiom, store it as a token so you can then use it in other steps. Pretty handy. Okay, that's maybe all the big features for this release, but perhaps I've saved the best for last. And this was a feature that I find really useful when building my axioms is that you can now keep the step find open when you're adding your steps. Quite often when I build, I need to add several interact steps and this is how I used to do it, one at a time. And that could get a little bit annoying. But now I can just open up the step finder and if I hold shift, I can add multiple steps if I hold the shift key down, I can keep adding the steps whilst um, the step finder remains open. I can also use the up and down keys, so it's becoming a little bit more keyboard centric and um, just press return to add the step. And at the same time, I could go up and down, hold the shift and press return and keep adding steps. So that's a nice way to, to navigate or way to add your steps. Um, yeah. So minor fixes, we have a list of those, including improvements to um, keyboard controls, long step names, have, step names have been 
complicated in the debugger, so don't cause a mess. Axiom also warns you if a new tab opens up when you're running your automation, because quite often you have to add a, a step to switch into that tab in, in order to automate it. But you can find out more about this release Axiom 4.2 on the site. Go to product, go to release notes, and you'll find the information there. And that's it from me. On to the next release, Axiom 4.3, which we're working on already. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.